Welcome everyone, I've found a fantastic uh, little gem of a game called Final Factory. Uh, this game is very much uh, along the lines of Factorio. Uh, it's a top-down kind of game, uh, so it, but it still has a lot of elements from things like Satisfactory, Dyson Sphere, um, and it's a very early release game, uh, but it will be due to be released pretty soon. I don't know the exact dates, but as soon as I do, I'll post them in the description for you. Now, um, I'm going to do a tutorial or let's play. Uh, this is the first of probably many episodes, and you can join me um, on my playthroughs. Now, the um, this version is the uh, development version on Steam. Um, now, obviously, this is going to change a lot between now and the release. Uh, it's going to have bugs and all that kind of thing, so bear with us on it. Um, and as I say, uh, we'll go through it together. Now, what I'm going to do is um, do a new, uh, show you first of all the mods that I've got installed at the moment. Uh, it's auto loot. Obviously, Steam Workshops where you get these. Towbot. Um, and there's also a new one that I'm going to do, uh, which will be the loot bot. But I'll enable that later on. At the moment, I just want to uh, show you the very basics uh, of the game. So we'll leave that as it is. And what we we'll do is do a new game. And if you want to join with me on my 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 actual seed on the map is zero 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 one. Um, you can leave the tutorial on. I'm going to turn it off for now. And everything else is standard. You can go into custom and change the asteroid richness, the stacking level, etc. It's all entirely up to you. But if you want to be uh, following me through exactly where I am, then these are the settings. And we begin the game. Welcome, traveller. You have been sent to these deep reaches of the cosmos to grow. Through a dark leviathan you have come, and you must consume all there is in this space to find your way through another. You are many, and you will be more. Now, um, if you zoom out of your wheel, you can get a rough idea where you are. WSD moves, um, and you click the space button to do a, like a little boost. And press C and you get this little arrow follow you. That's your firing mode. And you obviously get bots that float around you. Um, which leads me to the top here. You have here the um, fleet capacity. At the moment it starts at 10. But with upgrades it gets more and more. As you get more and more different um, combat bots. These are your worker bots. These are the different research. So you get asteroids, planets, stellar. And eventually black hole and all the rest of it. Research. Uh, you get here the aluminum orbs, which are in the Oracle shop, which I'll show you in a moment. And if you press T, you can see your research. And you get the ones in light blue are researchable. The ones red need something else. So, for example, logistics needs um, the ship assembly, which hasn't been researched yet. So let's get follows through. This may all change in time. With an upgrade. We don't know how he's going to do the looks. There's a whole load of things in there. But what I suggest you first of all do is get your, um, let me see, do your ship research first. And just click research. We haven't got anything built yet, so nothing's going to happen unless you kill some NPCs or enemies. Then this slowly goes up. You'll see they give out a little um, research uh, as loot. This here is the um, your hit points, and this is your defense. So, um, yeah, that's basically what it is. This is one of the mods which is uh, lets you tow asteroids and various different objects but you get that through later research and you're starting um, if you press E it'll open up your inventory and give you your crafting panel now this is automatic what you get when you start uh, these are what you can manufacture you just simply click on them and then they'll all appear down here on the left hand side um, yeah so this is what you need so um, connectors connect everything up this is your basic cargo hold this dissipates heat, it's called a heat exchanger. This is your station core, which connects to everything. This is a strut that you can use if you don't need a tube to transport uh, cargo around, because that's what this one's for. Basic solar panel, your assembly factory, your atomic printer, your miner, and your basic asteroid research station. Then everything else here are the components that they produce. So bauxite here, which is this asteroid, you, go, you pull it out with a miner, go to an atomic printer, and it will produce, let you produce low-density structure. 
And the same for the others who have to produce these two things. For it. And then they can go on to produce these items. And then in here you have your working ships, which is your asteroid research box, your miner box, your insertor box. Now these little boxes can move cargo between A and B over a certain distance. And then you've got here the construction box. And the basic combat ships at the moment is the bat. It's a mighty little ship, it's a good starting ship, and eventually you get more and more better ships as time goes on. Now the asteroids, you've got silica, here, metal, or iron, and bauxite. Now we'll start doing a uh, mine in these shortly. Um, if I can draw your attention down to the right here, you'll have here from the top, it's your inventory, see it's the same as pressing A, but you can click that button. This is an important one, your blueprint panel. Now I'm going to have loads of blueprints you'll see in a moment. Um, and what I'll do is I'm going to basically, in a moment, create um, the basic miners here. And on the box side as well. And then I'll show you how you can copy that entire structure that you make. And then it'll have a little save button will pop up here. You save it, give it a name. Once you've done that and press save blueprint, it'll appear in your blueprint folder. And that is how you'd make blueprints. The other information is your fleet management, your production statistics, you can find out everything it's doing, and an information panel on other objectives, etc. But that's the very basics um, of how it works. These buttons turn things, different things on and off, like your fleet. Um, you've got an option here to hide your combat units. If I had any, uh, click in this will show them, and then click it again, and it'll make them hide. As you get on in the game, you'll see it's handy to hide everything. Now, I would suggest, firstly, um, if you've got the uh, loot collector mod on, this will automatically collect your loot when you harvest the asteroid here. If not, it'll appear around you as little dots, so you quickly pick them up or they'll disappear. Now mine this by right-clicking and holding it. You'll see I'm going to get a few uh, silicon ore. We don't need a lot of that at the moment. Fly over to the um, iron ore and do the same when I get a fair few of these. So that you're aiming for something like maybe three or four hundred. You're going to need a load more than that. Then fly up to the buxoid and do the same. And remember to save your game regularly. Just in case you made a problem with the layout or you didn't want to build something right, you can just load, reload, and stop that problem from happening. Right, okay, so when you've got a few, like 300 odd or whatever, of the main two, that's these two, the buxoid and the iron. Open up your E, press E to open up your crafting pad, and then you want to make yourself um, do a couple of these stations, a couple of these heat exchangers, right click on the solar panel, I think it makes four or five, something like that. Same for these um, cargo connectors, and then what happens is they all build down the left hand side here. You want to do a uh, right click on this, the miners, and right click on the atomic printers. Now we've already run out of uh, the ores. So if you press E again you'll see your these are your basic ores. So silicon we have hardly used, but we haven't used a lot. We need a lot more metal. So while they're, they are actually being built, run over to your iron ore and right click and collect a few more loads. And what you do down here also, you'll see this little hot bar, little t of empty spaces. You can totally change these how you want. If you press E again, now you can see the um, station core. If you pick it up by pressing the left mouse button, and as you move it around, you'll see it highlights the, the cell below it. It does the same on the hot top bar here. So I stick mine on zero. You left click again on it, it goes red. And now you can see you've actually created a shortcut for that um, item. Which is great. Do the same for um, the miners. You take them out and move them around, do whatever. So we've now got two of those. So what I'm going to do is do um, this asteroid first. So what you do is you press um, zoom in with your mouse wheel, and then what happens if it shows red? Obviously, you can't build. Now I tend to stack mine by pressing R. It rotates it. So you want to go up at the top, let's see exactly where it goes red. Move your ship over it and go on the end. So you know along that line here, 
it can't go match it here it's going red so you got one move along to the end of the asteroid because you can go right the way along the face you see so you want it on the end and then leave a gap put the next one grab your station core put it into the middle between the two click it oh and before you do that don't make the mistake i just made build yourself a couple of construction blocks that's this bottom one here so one two while you're there build uh say four or five combat bots and then what happen is it's already built the construction what it's built these for you that's what the construction bots do now um grab yourself a connector one that transports cargo so it's not a strut and you can see this little arrow it's not very clear but there's a little arrow there press r to rotate it and that's the way the uh, goods are going to flow so from this mine miner here to the station core same on the other side now that's going to show it wants power so if you click your shortcut for your solar panel we're not going to put any more on the side here, so i want to stick some solar panels on you see these little, these little diamond green dots those are connectors so that's where you can connect things to so i'm going to put three on there and then we're going to stick on the end of that the atomic printer we're going to have two come out of this so we'll have one there one there I won't connect them yet because I've got to put the heat exchanger on but what you want to build now is um, this is why you haven't done the full 10 of, of what the amount of bots you can hold so click on working ships again and do four or five minor bots one two three four five now these will come out my ship and they automatically go to the nearest miner so they will fly down here start mining you'll see the green lasers cut or the lasers come out of them and then they will just take it and drop it back to your miners here and here these will then transport that into the station core which will then transport it into these um, atomic printers so um, grab your cargo transports again make sure the arrow's up click and click it gets built and now you'll see this like it's a a little symbol that looks like a seven with a line through it so if you click it tell it you want the um, iron ore click the other one tell it what you want iron ore now you can also see on this not only do we need more power by the lightning bolt but you've got this flame which means you're producing too much heat so if you click the station core it tells you here exactly the power production or that you're making from the solar panels your power consumed so you can see we've reduced 15 but we need 18 click heat you can tell how much heat is being produced now these these aren't working at the moment this is what this is doing is like future proof and it knows when you turn these to on you're going to produce heat so that's letting you know in advance so what you want to do is click your heat exchanger press r to rotate it the two arrows signify where it can uh you know the face that needs to connect it to do, needs to connect to so in this case i'm putting it on the station core so you put it until there and that gets rid of the um flame but we now need some more solar panels so i will move up here and stick this side some solar panels it's two for good measure now click your um atomic printers and tell it you want to mine you can't use this because that needs bauxite or but you can use this because it needs two iron ores to make one so you click it and what happens is that will now start producing the medium density and you want to go back to your e and see if you've got enough to make yourself a couple of cargoes <clears throat> once you've done that what we'll also do while we're in the working ships is print uh, build a couple of inserter bots I'll show you how these work um, and also what we could do is build another two or three or so of these connectors once it's done the storage so now this can come out so if we move uh, at the moment we temporarily put it here you can have these not connected to the actual whole structure because what you get if you left click on the station again that I mentioned before station stability near enough everything requires takes this away so you're allowed a maximum of 115 we're currently using 43 that tells you your power set etc as well now um, as I say near enough every item uses stability so this will go up and up and up until you reach that amount and then you can't connect anymore unless you get uh, ways to give you more stability more on that later right so if I grab one of these cargo connectors and then connect it across here what that's basically telling me is that uh, 
the ore is coming out of this station. Beer's made into medium density in these two type printers. This one here is moving all of its goods across. Now you could put it up here if you really wanted to, but I just find it easier to do this. And then what we do is we grab one of the um, ships, which is on here. Actually, it's on my short part. It's already there. So click that, uh, insert a button. Now rotate it around the arrow, signify the direction it's picking up from and going to. Now it doesn't matter, you can put it here on this station and it'll go right the way up to the open circle at the end, that's where it'll deliver to. But it's faster if you just leave one, not even a gap on the insert box. Now what you do is get your, press E again, build a few more solar panels. We'll have to get some more ore soon. And then while they're being built, grab one of them, stick one on this side. And then one, it doesn't matter where you put it here, you can fit it. Now you can see it's moving now. All of this bauxite, uh, sorry, medium density product we've just made out of um, the respective atomic printers. So I uh, out of this printer and it will slowly move it across here. Now what we can do as the later research is this junction, which I urge you to all start research. You need your bat damage to go up and you need your fleet command tank now these uh, increases your fleet capacity by 20 so you'll have around about 30 once you research this one this is your exploration tech and it's part of the defense by this defense platform you connect the two together and what happens is um, if you provide it with enough power in a station core this will reveal the fog of war or a certain distance around it and this will house 10 bats or 20 bats and uh, they will de uh, provide defense for your um, base but more on that a bit later you've got to pick your researchers to start and get going on now what I'm going to do now remember I said down here you press the button it shows or doesn't show your box here are the box that I created so you can see what I'm going to do now is quickly save the game and I'll show you uh, when we come back basics of uh, the fighting side of things Let's save this one. Okay, right now. We'll work out and go and do the uh, some ship combat. <clears throat> 